with that being said, welcome once again to the GMAP Broadcast Network. Yours truly, Pastor Kevin here. And of course, I am going to introduce some and present to others. Michelle Jean Edwards is here live on the number one station in the nation, GMAP Broadcast Network. And good afternoon, Michelle. How you doing? I'm doing really well, Pastor Kevin. Good afternoon to you, too. Uh, you know what? I appreciate that. Welcome to this outstanding opportunity on the GMAP Broadcast Network. And I just got to let you know, I appreciate, number one, you being here. I appreciate you taking the time out to just, you know, I know you're busy. And, of course, uh, I just have to show my gratitude by you, uh, you know, just taking a few minutes out of your time to sit here uh, with me and have a little chat on the GMAP Broadcast Network. And number two, I thank you so much. Uh, for accepting the invitation to be a part of our broadcast network family. God bless you for that. Wow. And of course, yeah, for thank those, you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, for those that really don't know, of course, uh, Michelle is uh, one of our featured authors on the GMAP broadcast network. And of course, uh, hold on one second. Let me get this straight. And of course, we are excited uh, to have her. And uh, can you hear me okay? I can hear you very well. Can you hear me? Oh, please. I hear you. Excellent. This is outstanding. And of course, hold on. Let me let, let me uh, uh, do a little refreshment here because I don't want anything to interrupt our flow. And uh, right now I'm getting a, a, a slight technical issue and I don't want to mess this up. So hold on one second. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay, and it is a great day on the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. Uh, I tell you, I, I just, you know what, I just get excited when things like this take place. And uh, I'm just going to dive right in because I know you are uh, excited, and I got to hear what it is that you have to share. You know what, I'm just going to dive in and say, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Who is Michelle Jean Edwards? Yeah, so Michelle Jean Edwards is, um, by day, she's an engineer and project manager, but in the off hours, she's an author and poet and creative type. So it's a very diametric differences between my day and night, right? And um, yeah, I just really, I mean, I really, really never thought I would be an author, to be honest with you. I just used to write poetry, do a little short short poetry things. And then one day I just got this whole book and I just couldn't stop writing it. So I was like, okay, I got a story here. So just get it out there. Right. Yeah. Wow. And of course, you know, this is your uh, first release of, uh, uh, this is not a follow up to something that you've previously written before. Is that right? No, no, no. So it's my first release. Um, actually I started it during COVID. Like a lot of people, they got, you know, just things, different changes, doing different things during COVID. So I wrote literally the first book in one month, just like wrote, I don't know, it just was flowing, right? Right. But I have to tell you, it's many, many iterations <laughs> to get to what's published. Right. Wow. Well, you know, I know you're excited and, and, and I have to ask you, what was that process difficult for you? I mean, was it something that you know, you had to, was it challenging or was it something that just, you know, you know, you're blessed and you're just going to go ahead and do what God has blessed you to do and, 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 you know, disseminate this information, disseminate it and, and begin your journey and put it out there for the eyes and ears of the people. Is it something that just happened like that? So, you know what, Kevin, good, good question. So basically for me, the writing part was not hard. Mm. Please don't get mad at me, aspiring writers out there. It's hard to have writer's block and, you know, hard to get started. That part wasn't hard. It was mm. just the editing over and over and finding things and like, oh, I thought I, and you know how you miss some stuff, right? Because you, you read, if, if you're the author, you read what you thought you said, not what's really on the paper, right? Uh -huh. And so it's like, well, why didn't I catch that, you know? And you'll see like iterations and thinking like, well, how did that happen? I can write better than that, right? Right. So that kind of happened. That process was like forever. And then being open to feedback, right? So that's the thing. Like, cause you have your story and 
obviously it's true and close to your heart, but do people want to read it, right? Mm. You want to provide something that they're interested in and that they want to gravitate to and read. So sometimes you get like really connected to a story and you got to realize, does it resonate with others, right? Okay. Wow. And, and, and you know, for, for, for those inspiring writers out there, now that you mentioned that, uh, mentioned that, you know, I know that there's quite a few individuals out there who really, they want to dive in. They, they want to write their story. They want to begin their journey. And for someone mm -hmm. in a position or a situation such as yourself, what words of encouragement would you give to those individuals right now? You know what? That's a good question because I have a couple of people. I mean, because I'm self-published, right? I'm doing this whole thing by myself, just trying to figure it out. Hopefully I get an agent soon, that sort of thing. But just getting started, right? Yeah. Like I have this idea, but I need to get it down on paper. Commit to it. Commit to an hour a day. Start with an hour a day. Write something, right? right? If you can't write it down or type it, if that's not your thing, voice record it, right? Get your ideas out there. Commit to at least one hour a day. Mm. You do an hour a day, you'll have a book eventually, right? Yeah. But if you just think about, oh, I want to do it. Oh, I don't have time, this and that. It's going to take time. It's going to take some effort to carve it out to do it, but you got to commit to do it. You got to yeah. get yourself and say, this is what I'm going to do. Get accountability partners to keep mm. you accountable to doing that. You know, you say you're going to commit to this hour, do that hour, right? Right. And if right. something happens, life happens, right? You might can't do the hour that day, but just don't be too hard on yourself. Just keep keep going the next day, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what you've you you have inspired me because I'm contemplating on releasing, and I quote, a, a my first publication, and okay, it's going to be titled "Confessions of a Pastor: The Kevin T. Strauder Story." Very, All right. very, very interesting, very serious, very upfront and honest. A lot of times people don't know what pastors go through or what they've been through. And, you know, I'm talking the bad, the good and the ugly, you know, because we are all right. still. You're yet, too. Yeah, yeah, I, exactly. And, 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 and I can't save you. You know, I can only try to do what I'm being led to do. But nevertheless, uh, when you look back, um, it's your, over your journey. Uh, you know where it all began, how it all started as a thought, and one thing led to another. When you look over that journey uh, to where you started and where you are, what's next? What's next for you? So if you know, if you notice the, the, the title of the book is Every Side Series Betrayed. So that should really tell you it's a, it's a series. Yeah. So I am in the process of editing the second book right now um because it will be it'll be a few books in so you you know keep it going keep yeah. it interesting so yeah. so yeah that's where i am i'm just trying to you know write these write these stories that i hope people are interested in i mm -hmm. i felt like there was there are more books nowadays but sometimes there's a gap in just the representation of what i wanted to see right yeah. so i wanted to write that book about professional black people living living good lives right yeah. not based off of sports or whatever just professional people and you know like myself and having a good life and what that looks like you know right. so that was my aim now 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 is all of this really based on personal experience would you say i wouldn't say because <laughs> ah. Cause Dr. Kevin, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of suspense in there, you know, uh, and some, some other things going on. So I wouldn't say there are some things that are personally relatable, uh, such as the career and that sort of thing, but there are some other differences, you know, yeah, yeah. just my imagination things that have occurred as well. No, 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 no. I know there's going to be quite a few people out there, Michelle, that's going to want to, uh, uh, dive in and, 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 and learn more, show their love, care, concern, and support, and, you know, reach out, uh, especially during the holidays, purchase a copy, download a copy. What's the process for them to do so? How can your book be purchased? How can they receive it? So the easiest way it would be to buy it off of Amazon, right? You can go to Amazon and look up Betrayed, I'm sorry, Betrayed Michelle Jean Edwards, and it'll pop up. Um, and that way, if you want a Kindle version, hardback or uh, paperback, you can get those versions. 
I am in the process of trying to create an audio book. Mm. I know everybody's like, I love audio books. I love them too. I really do. They're just a little bit expensive <laughs> to, mm, yeah. to create. So that's just going to, that's probably going to be in this next year's journey. But um, I hear you guys. I hear yeah. you about the audio book. Now, of course, when you do show your love, care, concern, and support, number one, uh, when you do purchase, read, and uh, have a copy of this publication, don't forget, you know, take a few moments, uh, go back to Amazon and leave a review. Um, it is so, so, yes, so, Kevin. Yes, so, yes, so sir. important. I know. I mean, it. It, it is so important, <laughs> you know, because that speaks volume. Um, I know Michelle will appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Amazon appreciate it. And even those that are on the outside looking in, trying to make their decision on whether or not they should even dive in and show that support and purchase a copy, they will appreciate it because they want to know what you think. And they want to know what the concept and the idea of making that commitment to purchase a publication uh, uh, would be for them. And it would be a blessing. And while you're doing that, don't forget now, don't forget when you make that decision to show your support, don't forget about little old GMAP broadcast network down here. We're in the lower left-hand corner of everything in small print, you know, but, but, but from what I understand, Michelle, small print is, most of the time, the most important print on the paper. And we want mm -hmm. people to realize that you are one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network. Stop by our platform. Click on the tab that is simply titled Featured Authors. You'll see a copy of the cover of a trade. Click on it. It will take you to the necessary location to find out more intimate information and details about the author as well as the publication. Uh, what she's done, what she's doing, and what she plans to do. Now, someone may even, in fact, want to reach out and, and touch base with you on a more individual basis. Is there some, some contact information that you don't mind sharing? Yeah, so right now I am currently live on Facebook. My Facebook is every side book um, address. And I'm on Instagram for every side series and well I, tiktok is not live yet sorry and my website is a coming soon ah. but it's going to be michelle edwards uh michelle jean edwards.com oh outstanding and so hopefully soon i'll get that up and going uh -huh. and i'll be able to i really like to do book clubs and things of that nature if you guys get a book and you want to have a feature author especially virtually mm. i can be available for those things Oh my goodness. Oh, that's wonderful. And of course you will, you will keep us uh, uh, connected and contacted uh, to let us know what we can do in order to assist you in any way, shape, form, or fashion that we can uh, during this journey. We know uh, for a fact you have the number and we want you to use that number. And if you do, and, 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 and you want to uh, allow us to connect, to assist you in any way, I just want you to know that the answer will always be yes, and you'll never have to ask me twice to do so, okay? All right. Sounds good. She said, all right. It was but... nice, really good at chatting with you today. I guess you probably thought I was, you, you always say, you sound so serious. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. I was more lively today. <laughs> well, you know, you, 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 you seem happy, and, and being happy and passionate about what you're doing speaks volume to anyone. Uh, if someone can't appreciate your your joy for disseminating this publication and information out there to the people, uh, they need to look in the mirror, not you. Um, and I tell you, I appreciate you, and I want to do any and everything that I can to continue uh, uh, this rapport and connection with you so I can try to assist you and you assist me in any way we can. Uh, but we encourage people, once again, uh, Betray, we want you to go out. We want you to share this information as often as you can. I mean, hey, you're on Facebook. You share everything else. Share this. You know, I mean, it is what it is. And we appreciate you taking time out today. And we want to hear from you in the very near future to see how things are going. So I'm inviting you back to do a follow-up to see how things have, you know, expanded and moved forward while you continue to go out and, and do what you have been blessed to do to disseminate this publication uh, to people around the world, okay? Okay, thank you so much. 
Well, we appreciate you, and uh, I'm going to re-air this a little bit later on here on GMAP Broadcast Network. GMAP1.com, of course, once again, uh, one of our featured authors, uh, Michelle Jean Edwards here, live on the number one station in the nation. Until next time, peace, God bless you, and Michelle, you have a fantabulous rest of your day. Enjoy, be happy, keep being blessed and continue to be a blessing to others in the meantime. You have a great day, okay? You too. Thank you. God bless you. In the meantime. God bless you too. All right. Welcome once again to the number one station in the nation. We appreciate her taking time out to be here with us here on the GMAP Broadcast Network. Looking for more great things out of her. We cannot wait to see what is in store for the future right here on the GMAP Broadcast Network with featured author Michelle G. Networks. Until next time, we want you guys to continue to keep it locked right here on GMAP1.com. <laughs>